Less than six months ago, when the president was first asked about Laos, he left more unsaid than he revealed. There are no American combat forces in Laos. We have been uh, providing logistical support and some training for the neutralist government in order to avoid uh, Laos falling under communist domination. As far as American manpower in Laos is concerned, there are none there at the present time on a combat basis. Uh, we do have aerial reconnaissance. Uh, we do have perhaps some other activities. I won't discuss those other activities at this time. That was in September. But last week, public pressure and what he called grossly inaccurate reports caused the president to discuss, after all, those matters in a lengthy statement. He still did not tell all. The president disclosed no precise figures on the dimensions of American air power being used in Laos, no accounting of the cost of our support, estimated at several hundred million dollars a year, no definition of the degree of command as distinct from advisory functions exercised by Americans there. Inevitably, the presidential statement on Laos has raised many questions, as many as it answered. The questions clearly derive from continued congressional and public uneasiness over the war in Vietnam. Laos is a theater of that war. It could hardly be otherwise. For a thousand miles, the borders of Laos march with those of North Vietnam. And for a further 300 miles, Laos borders on South Vietnam. That's the geographical explanation for the Ho Chi Minh Trail, along which President Nixon says, the great bulk of the men and supplies of the war in South Vietnam are infiltrated. In addition, Laos shares 264 miles of border in the north with communist China, and another thousand miles to the west with threatened Thailand. To its south is Cambodia. The strategic implications are clear. Any change in the status of Laos must send tremors throughout the entire area. Moreover, Laos is terribly vulnerable. Here is a country larger than Great Britain with a population of less than three million people. Whenever it suits them, the more numerous and warlike North Vietnamese can move into Laos and it's been suiting them for the last 500 years, particularly during the recent years of the war in Vietnam. To control the border areas of Laos was absolutely essential to North Vietnam's strategy. Step back only nine years in history and you find it was Laos, even more than Vietnam itself, that was the most important foreign policy problem to a newly elected president.